Well, good morning, my fine feather hiking friends. This is Little Hike Mike, and I'm out on a little stroll, a little jaunt, a little walk around my neighborhood. You could say I'm out on a little hike. The reason for my video today is to do a post trail introduction to the hike that I just completed. And there's a lot of reasons I didn't do. Uh, hey, man. Morning. <laughs> there's a lot of reasons I did not do a pre-introduction to my hike is I'm making up excuses here, but for the most part it was raining and I didn't really want to get my camera out. So, as many of you know that I've been hiking the Mountain to Sea Trail, the MST, and I wanted to do a segment that was going to be a little bit of a cooler walk. And so last year around June, um, I headed into the mountains with a cohort of mine and we started uh, segment one at Klingman's Dome. So as a way of reminder, I'll show a little bit of the video of that hike as I'm introducing here so you see a little bit of the trail and it'll take you back and let you know also I'll orient you a little bit with um, the all trails uh, maps that I use to give you an idea from point A to point B uh, about my uh, hike on the first segment so last June, we completed uh, from Klingman's Dome. Uh, didn't get a lot of video there either, not a lot of views because it was really socked in and raining. We walk along the Appalachian Trail for about three miles, and then we take a hard right uh, down into the park. Uh, well, you're already in the park when you start at Klingman's Dome, but uh, you take a hard right down into the park and we ended up that hike at Mingus Mill and uh, that is on Newfound Gap Road or Route I believe 441 uh, near the Oconalofty Visitor Center which is in Cherokee Nation so to complete that segment uh, you get on um, you go down in through kind of lefty uh, area historical area and then you get on the Blue Ridge Parkway and of course some of you know that have done the MST know that a lot of the walking is along roads and um, unfortunately even this first segment there was uh, in the last part of it there was seven and a half miles of uh, road walking along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Although that's not all that bad. And the reason is, is because there were a lot of views. Even in the rain, uh, we were able to get uh, a lot of views. But you do have that uh, confrontation with the traffic that is constantly coming down the road that you have to watch out for. Uh, then, as you got closer to Mile High Campground, which was our completion of the first day, uh, we got off the road onto Real Trail, and uh, you could call it Real Trail. They were forest roads and gravel roads, but we did get into the woods quite a bit all the way then up to Mile High Campground. And the second day, 
Uh, and by the way, we were slack packing this hike, which means we had two vehicles um, and we were able to shuttle uh, one vehicle down to uh, the completion of each day hike and then ride back to begin each day's hike in the other vehicle and then um, walk to uh, the other vehicle that, that afternoon. So slack packing was nice. Um, also, uh, we stayed in the same campground, Mile High Campground, uh, both nights. And by the end of day two, the weather had cleared up a little bit and we were able to get some really nice sunset views, uh, views of the um, north and west, uh, northwest, and then also our campground we were, we were staying at, uh, our particular site, had a nice view from too. So look forward to that. The third day of the hike was, uh, by the way, we completed segment one at Water Rock Knob, which um, you complete that um, uh, segment at a paved walkway that goes up to Water Rock Knob, uh, which when we decided to go up Water Rock Knob, which the elevation was 62.19, I believe, and uh, it's the 19th highest um, mountain east of the Mississippi River. So that was nice to go up there, but again, by the end of our hike on the second day, we didn't have very good views. We were socked in, so we didn't get any views from that area. Uh, but then it did clear up the rest of the day. So the third day, uh, because you drive all that way, uh, it took us about five and a half hours to get from where we live over in Eastern North Carolina to the Western side of the state. Uh, uh, we wanted to, uh, uh, get as much hiking in as we could. So we stayed on the mountain to sea trail and we stayed on got yeah, started from Water Rock Knob hiking east. We got on segment two, walked about 10 miles of that and that kind of completed the hike. So the end we ended up approximately 31 miles uh, time out there so I really enjoyed it, enjoyed the, the company we had, and uh, didn't see too many people on the MST. We did see one fella from Wisconsin who was jogging. So by way of introduction, uh, and by way of uh, reminding you, here's there's some video of segment one, and also, I'll orient you with the All Trails app. So, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have not already subscribed and you like my content, please do hit that subscribe button and then also uh, hit that like button if you like my video. Please comment too. I like to hear your comments, that helps me out quite a bit. And then also hit the bell, and that will alert you when I have posted another video. So thanks again, and uh, without further ado, here's my hike on the MST, completion of segment one, and beginning of segment two. Hey folks, we are at the McConnell Upkey Visitor Center off of Route 441, and I'm beginning the second section of my hike on the MST Segment 1. So we're, this is the Visitor Center area, and this is the O'Connell Lefty River Trail. So we're just going to walk down here and get to the Blue Ridge Parkway entrance. And, and this is a little settlement of some sort one time. Hey 
Okay, everybody, now we are on the parkway, which is part of the MST. So we're going to be going up, 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 up. There's a kind of lofty creek. everybody still walking the BRP Going around two tunnels already I think we got two more to go another probably about six five six miles iconic here. Raining. Misty. Views are okay. Looking real spectacular. Moseying along. Talk to you soon. I'm sorry, but I haven't been recording hardly at all. This is the MST. The end of segment one. We are practically at Water Rock Knob. And, and you know, I'd be videoing more if we didn't have views like this. I mean, if we did have any views, I'd be getting the camera out more. But, but uh, uh, getting the camera out in these type of conditions is... to justify. Which way do we gotta go? Here's is this Pete? 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 I don't know. And here's the view from our little bench. Hey everybody. I am 
I'm at the top of Water Rock Knob. I am on Water Rock Knob. Yeah, no view. Now, look, that's a little marker. It. Some of me did anyway. David didn't come? Okay. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yep. Uh, say water rock knob. Water rock knob. Hey, hey. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> hey, look, look around. I want to climb some more. Can we go higher? <laughs> We're almost above tree line, but we'll get a uh, selfie with all three of us with the view. How's that? Uh, I don't. I don't think there is a sign. What do you say, David? Uh, we're here. That's <laughs> You want to climb some more? I want to climb some more. I had enough. Well, there's a tree. You can climb that tree. tree right there. <laughs> I don't see anything around me. So that's, that's what